Oh, Kenosha shooting. That's what the world is talking about. You do a search on, what is this? Uh, yeah, YouTube, YouTube. Kenosha shooting on YouTube. It's five, what is it? 9.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. What is the date today? September? Is it September? <clears throat> I don't know. I think it's September 1st, whatever day it is. It's uh, it's Tuesday, I believe, September first. If I'm, you know, if I'm off by a day, you'll you'll forgive me. Look at look at these headlines. Kenosha braces for President Trump's whatever braces for. Oh, just the sedition in the land is is pretty high. And uh, Trump to visit Kenosha, Wisconsin. Trump to visit. Uh, Look at the CBS This Morning, CBS News, CBS This Morning, Bloomberg Politics, CBS This Morning, CBS This Morning, NBC News, Bloomberg, ABC, CBS, garbage, 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 garbage. And if I saw Fox News up there, I'd call it. Fox News is garbage, too. They're all garbage. They're all disseminators of narratives. They treat you all like children. You believe what you believe. Primarily, you believe what you believe, including me, primarily because of of what these idiot trolls are are spinning uh every day and it, it takes tremendous amounts of effort time and resources to call your way out of the mirages that these that these bloodthirsty fiends have 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 built around you most of what you're seeing is the result of these very people. CBS This Morning, YouTube. Basically, YouTube allows the the ones that are producing the violence, the media itself, and the media, I can assure you. This is, this is the overwhelming, to me, the most important story, aspect of this story. And this is, I'm not going to say objectively. Maybe you could make an argument. Well, there's no, no there. There's no objective value per se, but within a framework of preference, if you're operating, let's just assume if you're listening to this as a fair idea, if, you, if you've listened to anything that I've done so far, it's a fair idea that you kind of understand that uh, I have, uh, I guess I'll say, pragmatically concluded that uh, the Bill of Rights constructs of the United States of America are about my best chance to see consensual exchange emerge in any nation state on this planet, and that we must, above all else, preserve the constructs, the useful ideational constructs of the Bill of Rights as much as we can. And so we have to defy the BLM because the BLM's fundamental underlying assumption is that the the new due process standards aren't based on the bill of rights they're based upon a whole new morality code that conveniently demonizes human beings in all of the significant almost all of the significant well from their perspective perceived significant positions of american power it's almost like they are strategically looking to complete, well, it's not almost, it's what it is. They are looking to strategically dismantle what is using a high-handed, coercively enforced moral supremacist code. This sounds like any other thug cult that has rolled into town throughout human history, across the ages, across the lands. It's not exclusive to any race or any culture or any people. It is, it is the pattern that the psychopaths rely on to continue to control the rest of us and the rest of us that become these useful idiots. So what I want to fundamentally share here is this. And this is the biggest reason why I'm making this video about the Kenosha shooting. And there's a lot that could be said, and I probably will say more as I go along. What I want to say about the Kenosha shooting is this. That is my, my advice to anyone listening. If you, are, if you are directly connected to the people there if in, in these areas, whether it's Kenosha or in other places where law enforcement has chosen not to protect residents from uh, armed gangs uh, rolling through their streets in the middle of the night, 
uh, if you live in those areas, you have every right to band together and do what you can to protect your homes from from these violent insurgents, these the insurrections, these terrorists. You do what you can do to protect, and really, what what should be doing done is these neighborhoods that are at risk. They need to coordinate and, and meet these people before they get to their homes. Meet them at the roads in. Block them on the way in and, and confront them there. Don't let them get into your homes. And now you have the danger of crossfire and other things that could hurt your own. Get me, You define the battlefield. Don't let them come in and tangle amongst you. Meet, meet them in places on the way. That's I, I'm assume, assuming people will figure that out. But if you're a family member of, of these folks that live in these areas, if you're a friend, and you want to come and help them and arm up and help them, I totally support that. And I think I'm not, I don't know the detail of uh, the, 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 this young man, Kyle, what is it? What's his last name? I forget his last name. Kyle Rittenhouse. I don't, I don't, I don't know the full story of this uh, per se. And uh, that's not really the point of my, my, my thing. Re regardless. I mean, the videos that I've seen of, of the exchange, the guy's, how he got there, what those circumstances are, I don't know the details, but I've seen the videos of, of what happened, and the dude did, uh, he, 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 it's a textbook definition of everything that you should do if you're involved to, to protect yourself. Now, what led up to it, I don't know if, I don't know, well, I saw the immediate what led up to it, and that, again, was also justified. Uh, what immediately led up to it was when they, they swooped on the boy because he took a... Uh, a fire extinguisher, and he put a fire out in in a dumpster that they had set on fire, and they were rolling towards a gas station, which would put everybody at significant harm. This was right in front of the gas station pumps. This kid was literally preventing a gas station from being blown up. And then he's arrested and charged with murder because, yes, and then the NFL is going to put a the the name of the of 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 another guy on their helmet this jacob guy who is essentially a a a, a serial sex abuser of women this is your new champion the nfl's champion is a sex abuser uh, and i'm sure that uh lebron james has probably referred to kyle rittenhouse in some way shape or form as a white supremacist or something the amount of uh of fear and loathing that that man is trying to inject into black communities. The man is a, I mean, he's a seditionist. He's uh, inciting people to violence. I don't know why the man isn't arrested by now. I don't know why so many people have not been arrested by now. But that 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 that's going to come. It's going to have to come. It, and it's a process. It's a process. And it begins in local areas where local people essentially rise up and maybe it's in the voting booth, wherever it is, however they have to do it. And, and they basically demand that their local governments start to hold people accountable for doing these violent things. It'll start from that level. It'll start from the sheriff's departments on up, sheriff's departments, and then state uh, attorneys generals. And it's coming. It's coming. And I would suggest, this is the biggest point I want to make here, if you're not one of the people that live in these areas and you're not directly connected to these people, don't show up. Don't. Don't go to these riots looking to confront and battle the BLM. We do not need to do that. All we need to do, all we must do, we Americans, and I mean anyone, regardless of your sex, your gender, your anything, you, you're, you're, you're by by, I don't know, by gendered, I don't know all the, the whatever terminologies, whatever, you put yourself in a category that you think is the most least likely to be in this group. And uh, if you adhere to the Bill of Rights, you're one of us. You are a, a, a you, you've, you've been an American citizen for six months. You're, you're Muslim. You're from Saudi Arabia. You barely speak English but you believe fundamentally in the Bill of Rights, and that's why you're here. You understand the power of the Bill of Rights for human beings to live lives of their own choosing. Brother, sister, or whatever, you're one of us. Get on over. You're on our side.
If you want to live a standard that is that is that is led by the Bill of Rights and not the BLM, that is led by the Bill of Rights and not a a race defined universe where we have hierarchies of, of races, hierarchies of genders, hierarchies of sexualities. That's not a Bill of Rights universe. A Bill of Rights universe does away with all of that. And we are what we present to one another in our Bill of Rights standards frameworks. These Bills of Rights, well, they're not based on an assumption of God. They're not based on an assumption of non-God. They're not based upon an assumption of moral correctness. They're based upon an assumption of the usefulness of people without power having power. That's essentially what the Bill of Rights do, do, do. They diffuse power so that when there's concentrations of power, their ability to fully act on that advantage is significantly limited by the ideational power that is more than willing to be converted into force power when needed, the ideational power of an assumption of rights as defined by the Bill of Rights. And so I say, let them do what they do, unless it's your property or unless you're fully physically connected to it. And I also want to stress at the very end, this isn't a, a moral appeal. This is a strategic appeal. And I don't claim to know with absolute certainty whether I'm right, but I have a strong, strong sense that this is sound advice. And then if we follow it, if, if all we have to do is start putting up American flags and wherever your, your communities are at risk, Find out who the American flag putter uppers are and 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 organize and be prepared to defend your families and your homes and do it before they get to your homes. You don't want to put your homes and your family members you want the 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 wives and the children on the most part at home. And I know for some there's gonna be women actually that are that are better better than men to actually join the group that's gonna defend, but that's most likely not going to be the case. And there will be some men that are probably better suited to stay home. But generally speaking, generally the men will be the best to be there. Overwhelmingly, the men will be the best to be there. And overwhelmingly, the women and children, they stay home. We leave a small number of folks behind to secure uh, as much as possible to patrol and secure. And the rest, you meet them. You meet them before they get to your homes. But if you're not part of those homes, don't show up don't unless you have some some advanced knowledge that there's going to be this massive amount of people that's going to really literally attempt to overrun them in which case then everybody shows up but i mean other than that that's not going to happen they don't have those kinds of numbers the most amount of numbers that these people can produce in any one place i tell you the truth as far as people willing to fight and die and kill i, I tell you the truth the most amount of numbers they can gather in any one place is five thousand and they won't be able to do that for any more than, uh, at most, two or three places that cross this country. For the most part, they have to keep rotating. And then they have, it's, it's basically three or four hundred here, 50, 60 there. Small numbers. For the overwhelming majority of humans, you're going to be dealing with about anywhere from 80 to 200 human beings, of which 7 to 12 will be armed. And of those, maybe one will be actually competent. That's what you're realistically going to be facing. And you should prepare for that if you're in one of these areas. And how do we find out who we are? Everyone, put your fucking American flags out. I mean, I, I don't really like the American... I don't like flags in general. I'm kind of... I, I don't, I'm not particularly beholden to the American flag. That creates its own cult. I mean, I'm beholden to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights within this nation-state construct, which uh, I find pragmatic use in doing so. I'm totally allegianced to that. But I see the usefulness right now, the pragmatic usefulness of everyone. Put your fucking American flags out. I got American flag sticker on my door. That I put that out uh, a couple of days after somebody put something out that said the American flag was a white supremacist construct. I said, fuck you. And I put it up. And I'm keeping it up. I ain't fucking taking it down. Mark me. I fucking do not stand with fucking psychopaths. I stand with the Bill of Rights constructs. I would like to offer you, well, not me personally, but the ideas that might help you create your own versions. But I would like to offer you something more, more even more consensually 
minded than uh, the American nation state hemmed in by the Bill of Rights. But all things being equal, pragmatically, this is where I choose to stand. I choose to stand in defense of the American nation state that is that is that has as its king the Bill of Rights. I will defend that nation state. I will defend that king. I'll, I'll, I'll leave you that. But I just want to make a note why this video is this way is because I got issues with my uh, downstairs that are not going to be solved for a couple of days. And uh, I have videos in the loop that I can, uh, that I created to, uh, well, anyway, this is a more hotter issue. So I got to do this video now. So that's why I'm using my phone. I don't have a laptop. So I'm using my phone to create this video. So it's not what you normally see, but there you go. Thank you for watching.